Was not supposed to rain today, but that's not stopped me from being here at Six Flags St. Louis. Started my day with two rides off Scream Eagle, front row and second back row, and actually I ran into Joey from Single Rider Coach. He was here back in uh, October 2021. That's right. And uh, that was your first time on Scream Eagle. What do you think? This is awesome. Yeah, it was closed last time I came. We rode uh, front row and row 11. Yep. Really amazing. Good airtime in the back. Uh, I prefer row 11, I think. Yep. Row 1 was Today smooth and, and great and all, but the drops, so you got it right in the back front. Yeah. This experience. Right. I agree. Like, uh, I said this in my video about how to tackle the coasters here at this park. I think the second to back is better for airtime, but I do think front is worth trying as well. But yeah, for today, second to back row is definitely superior. And uh, now we're gonna go down to the boss and see how that beast is running. And also take a look at Rookie Ridge to see what has changed. Made it to the boss now. And would you look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We have a station for Rookie Racer. My theory stands corrected as to what that could be. And uh, yeah, we got the first track in place, so that's cool two trains on the transfer track today. And uh, Joey, you were actually at Holiday World now that I think about it, yesterday, which is yeah. the day after I'm recording this. What'd you right. think of the park? Holiday World was really awesome. I mean, it met most of the expectations. I actually liked Legend the best. Uh, got the most insane rides on it, it is hauling. Uh, Voyage got a lot better at the end of the day. So my first few rides in the early afternoon are a little bit underwhelming because of all the hype, everybody hypes it up. Oh, it's yeah. one and all that. but. It did get a lot better towards the end of the day, so yeah, it's kind of neck and neck between Legend and Voyage for me. Really? So yeah, you still have Legend over, which uh, I mean, I can honestly understand anyone who had. Well, I mean, to an extent, I can understand anybody who had Legend over Voyage, but Legend, uh, if you'd ridden it in 2022 during Hollywood Nights, which is when I rode it uh, before my rides this year, you would not have been very impressed because it was uh, quite slow. And actually, we got Boss going now, which uh, kind of flying back here. So yeah, Legend was kind of underwhelming for me last year. But it was still a really solid ride though, regardless. Yeah, my ride this year were better. A lot of people who've ridden Legend in previous years have said it's almost never run better than it's running this year. So. Yeah, I mean, I can attest to that. I mean, 2021 Legend was absurd. We actually got boxed in the brakes, so. Yeah, we're gonna be on this next one here. Let's see how this thing rides. First uh, trimless ride on box. What'd you think of that? That was unbelievable. We were not expecting to get that because there's yeah. so many people on the train. Well, I mean, it wasn't like uh, that many. It was like eight people, but with a purple train, which actually tends to run the fastest, I'm surprised we got it. So. Uh, yeah, I wasn't that surprised, but uh, yeah, we flew from the course and it was awesome. Second half was insane. Double up the end was just crazy. Overall, an excellent ride. Would you say better than Eagle or? Yeah, oh, definitely. You say so? Absolutely. Yep, I agree with you on this that. This is the best coaster in the park aside from Freeze. Yeah, which uh, we'll get to that at some point. But uh, now that we're mentioning it, uh, you still need to ride Batman and Boomerang, which both Boomerang is close. Right, so today, just need so. Batman and then I'll have to come back for Boomerang and then. Uh, Rookie Racer. Another time. Yep, and you actually gotta come into the trees again. Uh, yeah, this thing is a flying. Didn't expect to run so fast this morning, but yeah, overall, boss is running good. Another trimless ride. Well, this one was more expected to happen because there were fewer people on the train. What'd you think? That was amazing. Yeah. Uh, even, uh, I don't know, based on my memory from 2021, the dark uh, night ride front row. Yeah, you only, you're, uh, I think you've only ridden boss at night up until this point. Only one lap on boss at night, yeah. I guess so you're up to three total on it. This is three total, um, but trimless, that was a rare treat. I'm really yep. excited. It doesn't that happen that to, often. Back that was my to back uh, trimless rides. Yep, second and third time that happened this year. And uh, now we're gonna go down towards uh, Justice League and uh, Hopefully things go better there, and I'll explain why in uh, just a minute once we get down there. Justice League is open, and while we're going into the building, let's throw in a quick flashback to last time we tried to ride this. Well, we just broke it. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> yeah, like, like, as soon as we sat down in the vehicle, like the lights just turned I'm like, oh no. The ride told me, it hit your, you hit your cue. What? <laughs> okay, that makes no sense, but yeah, this thing is just having all sorts of issues. Let's hope that does not happen again this time. That is the closest I have ever come to double maxi get on the first try. 10,000 off. Joey, what'd you think? I mean, I'm a witness to it. That was insane. You I were knew it was almost be close. there. What did you need? Like one or two more targets? Like 10 more. I was, I was darn close. Like, oh man, I thought I was going to get a freeze going. We'll get to that, but I feel like I can get it for him, so we're gonna try one more time and then go ride Mr. Freeze. But you cannot be closer than that, or much closer, I should say. I mean, I've gotten closer to double maxing it without actually doing it by less than a thousand before, so. Yeah, that was still more frustrating, but dang, that was a close one. Actually, main line for Justice League was uh, quite long, so we're gonna ride Mr. Freeze now, and uh, we'll probably come back to that, but not sure though. We'll uh, probably do American Thunder, so after we do uh, Mr. Freeze and then Joey needs to go ride Batman, so we might do that after a while. <laughs>
did back row on Mr. Freeze. I thought that uh, the trimless rides we had on Boss, as well as our back ride on Eagle, was a little better. What did you think of that? It's really cooking. Yeah, Freeze was uh, really solid. And uh, we just saw American Thunder run, and it looks like it's flying. So this is going to be exciting. And uh, we only rode front row on this uh, at night when Joey was last here. So we were, we'll try front and back to see which is running better. But it is Blue Train, so I'm anticipating front to be better because in the past this year, Blue's been better in the front as compared to the back. So we'll try both and see which row is actually better. Front row on American Thunder, what do you think of it? I thought the front row was great. There was some great airtime pops. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to the back row and see how it compares. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this will be a good one. Uh, we're going to be getting an attack of Blue Train, which is hilarious because we got front of red and I find back of red to be better and I find front of blue to be inferior. So, or superior, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, that's uh, quite crazy. We're getting the opposite seats, I guess, for what's the best seat on the track. But I'm still looking forward to trying it, so let's see how back row is. Even though we did the back row of the blue train, I thought that was way better than the front row of the red train. So that pretty much solidifies our belief that for this year, blue train is superior. What did you think of that one? You had fun? Yeah, that was great. It's really hard to compare front row to back row. There's really just as smooth in the back as it is in the front. Yeah. It's a little bit more aggressive in the back, but... A little bit, yeah. The front first has a great airtime pop, too. Yeah, but uh, can't overlook that drop in the back. I thought it was uh, insane, like crazy airtime while turning down. It was just nuts. So, uh, yeah, I think now we're gonna go check out, uh, I think, Batman and uh, see how that is. waiting, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes for that, even yeah, with the Planet Flash Pass? Yep. And that's even with a three train wait for the back row because the ops there were uh, quite slow. But uh, yeah, it was uh, still a good ride, but it was not one of the better rides I've had on it. Like I've had multiple better rides on Batman this season. And that was, I think, your second to last Batman clone you needed? Yeah, I need uh, Great America and I need the one at La Ronde and that's it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the one at La Ronde. Yeah, I don't have that Batman, that Batman clone yet. Vampire or however they pronounce it. Yeah, whatever, I think it was Vampire. Vampire. But, <laughs> what? A vampire? I don't know what they okay. call it there. Uh, I thought I said them up, but all right, yeah. Oh, Batman, it was all right, but yeah, I've uh, seen it run better before. Joey has to get on the road to the next park, but yeah, it was fun hanging out with him for a few hours, and so I'm gonna get some more rides on Justice League because I've only done it once today, so let's see if we can do a few more. Just got my 200th ride on Justice League in 2023. And I'm at 1,205 max scores because I did twice more after uh, Joey had to go. So now I'm going to start working on getting some more footage and uh, pictures and whatnot because I haven't done that much today. And uh, I'm going to do that uh, starting with Mr. Freeze. And I actually might ride it again. So yeah, I'm going to ride Mr. Freeze while I'm right here. And I'll work my way around the park. Mr. Freeze in the front row, but I saw a boomerang testing, so I'm gonna go try and get on that because I want to ride every coaster here today. So I've done five so far. I just made uh, Boomerang, River King Mine Train, Ninja, and Pandemonium. Then I'll have done every coaster here today. So let's go head up towards Boomerang and see if it'll open today. And if it's not, then uh, oh well. But I've seen a test multiple times, so sometimes they're gonna open it possibly. So let's go up there and check it out. It's been raining off and on today. Not exactly hard rain, it's more of a drizzle, but it's a bit of a minor inconvenience because I don't want to risk getting my camera wet and possibly ruining it. And uh, it wasn't supposed to rain today, so yeah, I find it weird that it's raining, but whatever. It doesn't stop me from coming here. So let's go take a look at Boomerang. And I uh, haven't seen a test again, but then again, I was saw it from near Mr. Freeze. So I'm gonna go up the hill here and see what's up with it, if it's actually gonna open today.
recent back row ride which was I think back in May so yeah it's been a while since I've done back row so I'm to try that again and plus I did front row on my ride last week so yeah it's definitely a back row ride and uh, still have not seen Boomerang open yet I mean they've been testing it but not sure they'll open it time soon I'll check back up here later but for now I think I'm gonna move on towards the pandemonium Eagle is pretty much out the entrance now. So uh, yeah, good thing we wrote it when we did. And uh, we did spin a lot more than I thought it would, but it was still very disappointing compared to some of the other rides I've gotten on this in the past. But yeah, overall, Pandemonium is still my least favorite country here. And uh, I think I'm gonna go try Boss again, and then make my way towards, I think Just because I need a few more laps on that. And also ride Freeze in the front row, because I never did that earlier, because I saw Boomerang testing. But 
Yeah, it's not open. I was about to ride the boss, but they delayed operations so they could put a second train on, which it desperately needed because the line was getting long. So I'll check back up there later on once they get the second train up and running. And as for what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ride Justice like a few more times and then go take on Mr. Freeze again. And then uh, hopefully boss will be up and running by then. Just ran into Ellis by a great mistake, I guess, because I didn't think he would be here today. And um, he and I found someone that is learning the secrets of the ride. A front row ride on Mr. Freeze just now and I would say that's better than the back row ride I got earlier today but I think that's got to do with uh, the fact that I rode a back row about an hour after the park opened and I did front several hours after so I had the chance to warm up when I rode the front wasn't running like that in the back so overall I think you cannot go wrong with either one this one but for today I think it's better in the fronts ever so slightly actually here comes Freeze now I'll be able to catch a, catch a legit rollback on video. I mean, I kind of got a semi rollback, I guess you could say, like back in April of 2022. Well, that's when they were training it. I mean, it was a purposeful short shooting, I guess you could say, but I want to catch a legit rollback where the train almost makes it over, but then it fails to make it over and then comes back. But uh, yeah, just like it's closed right now, so uh, I wonder what's up with that. But uh, that's kind of concerning that hopefully it uh, reopens later, but yeah, it's not looking too good for Justice League and that's Now that I've done just like a few more times after it reopened and the line for Colossus is being slow and not moving, I'm gonna go up to the boss now and do I think two laps on it? That seems about right. So yeah, I might do a couple laps on that. And then I'm not sure what else I might do because uh, I don't think Boomerang is open. And if that's not the case, then I'm gonna not bother riding Ninja. So I'll only do a uh, Ninja if Boomerang's open. But yeah, I'll head up that direction and take a look at Maybe also give Eagle another try, but that line was huge earlier. It was like down the ramp. So yeah, I may or may not do Eagle again today, but if not, I did it twice this morning. So it'll be nice to get on e Eagle again, but I never know what the line will be like. So let's go up to the boss and do that a few times.
Wow, guys. I rode Boss twice in a row while I was out there because my first ride was absolutely absurd. It was going so much faster than this morning, which is to be expected. But the way the train flies through the second half was astonishing, especially that last turn. And this weather right here, both the sliding and the temperature, gives me uh, vibes of uh, power hours, which happened uh, last May here at Six Flags St. Louis. And I will post a link to the vlog I shot from that day in the description of this video so you guys can go check it out. Because uh, there's some awesome highlights in there, but. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil them because, well, you guys gotta watch the video to find out what happened that night. So, yeah, this uh, weather's kind of giving me vibes of that. And uh, I think I'm gonna go get some more shots of Batman and then come back towards Justice League After Mile and start marathoning it. Although I might do freeze again, but I don't know. If anything, I might do freeze, uh, try and get last train of the night and get a fireworks right on it because there is a, that fireworks show again tonight. So, I might try and get last train of the night on freeze, but if not, I'm gonna be trying to do Justice League a bunch. So. Yeah, let's go towards Batman and get some footage of it. And hopefully another fight doesn't break out unlike last week. Which, yeah, that was scary, what Ryan Ellis and I saw. on track to get a double max on my last ride. I was doing really well, and then someone shot the panels and that made me resort to the back strategy, which even that didn't help as much as it needed to. So, did have the best of luck there. But I don't know, at least it's two rides, I think, where I broke 900,000 for the first What, what? What are you guys doing? Yo. Yeah. I almost had a double max just now. Bro, right now, right now. I'm trying, it depends on if there's an available blaster for me to use. What? I mean, you'll want it on car at some point. I, I don't know. Maybe towards the other night. I, I don't know. I might, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Of course, Justice League decides to break down when I'm on it, so it's down right now. In the meantime, while waiting for that to reopen, I'm going to go take another ride on Mr. Freeze, so I don't have to go very far in case that does reopen. And uh, I don't know if I'll do a last ride night on this. I mean, actually, with the time I'm losing, I might not. I'll just do Justice League once that thing reopens. If it does. So let's go try Mr. Freeze out now and see how it runs. Because uh, my two rides in the front and back earlier today were great. So let's see how it's running now compared to earlier. One more excellent ride on Mr. Freeze and Justice League is back open. So let's get a few more rides in before the park closes. Those fireworks were just nuts. I got a good vantage point from over here near American Thunder and uh, yeah, they were going wild. So uh, yeah, that was uh, overall awesome. For the Marathon and Justice League, I did get a couple double maxes in to end out my night. I got two of them and a lot of them that uh, were not double maxes were extremely high. Like I think a lot of them were over 900,000 second blasters, so that was pretty solid. And uh, let's review today's ride count and report back. After reviewing my ride count from today, I found that it was 
15 on Justice League, 4 on Boss, 3 on Mr. Freeze, 2 on American Thunder and Screaming Eagle, and then 1 on Batman, Pandemonium, and River King Mine Train. It was uh, overall a really good uh, day here. Got to hang out with Joey from Single Rider Coaches, which I'll post a link to his Instagram account in the description of this video so you guys can follow him. But yeah, I got plenty of rides with him, and also getting a couple double maxes on Justice League was nice. Some uh, insane boss rides, uh, good Eagle rain rides earlier, which was nice, and it was overall a really solid day to be here. Uh, weather was nice. Uh, didn't quite get on Colossus because that line was slow and not moving. But yeah, I got pretty much everything else I've done that once. Well, I didn't quite get on Ninja or Boomerang because Boomerang wasn't open. I figured that if Boomerang wasn't open, I might as well not ride Ninja. So it was overall a really solid day here. And before I click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. And be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video. And be sure to share it with someone else. Let me know. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I know that I usually say I want to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the summer, but since this is probably not going to be out by the time the summer's over, because I have so much other content to, uh, to edit as of when I'm recording this, I would say that I want to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So I think it's more realistic. Cool. So I'd like to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and show the bell and so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well. It'll be the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.